Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for coming back. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today we're working on Aaron's self-propelled mower. Uh, this is an older model. I think it's an older model. I can't tell exactly what year it is. I got it in a package deal with a bunch of other bunch of other mowers. I, I'm really intrigued by it. I've never worked on an errands before, just a full disclosure. It's got those caster wheels on front. Those are kind of, those are interesting. Anytime I see those on a little mower like this, obviously on the, on the bigger, you know, commercial 40, 50, 60 inch ones, they're, uh, they're a lot, uh, actually I think they're necessary on those, but not necessarily on these. I don't know anything about it. You are seeing it for the first time that I am. Um, the engine, spins over that's the only thing i know about it yeah you'll just have to trust me i can't hold it down and do it at the same time 5.5 horsepower i don't know who makes this if it's like a tecumseh or a briggs it doesn't look like a briggs it might just be their own check the oil it says it's full it doesn't look too bad I've definitely seen worse mm. Smell like gas. So it does not, it doesn't smell good, but I would not say that it smells bad. It's fairly empty too. Not too shabby. I think that's the air filter. Grab a flathead. It's a little bit of a discoloration right there. Not sure what that's from. No known reason why it stopped running. Had almost zero information when I got it. Actually does not look too bad. It's like that's a drain bolt on the carburetor. There's a primer bulb right there. It seems to function the way that it should. It is missing the bag. Um, it has this uh, it has this mulch side uh, cover bolted down, which actually looks in really good shape. That's bolted on there. It's missing the bag. Looks like it's got that mulch plug in there with some dirt. This actually the paint job on this looks immaculate. There's nothing really other than just a couple of uh, just a couple of scuff marks there that that doesn't look too good. It's chipping off a little bit. Again, not too bad. Um, ah, there we go. To come see, to come see engine. S A E thirty in the summer, five W thirty in the winter. Very good. Let's check to see if it has spark. It's got a Briggs spark plug, which is good. It tells me it was changed. I'm assuming this is not the plug that came with it. All right. Cut the lights off. And you'll have to tell me if that's got spark because I can't see it. Yep, actually I can. We got spark. All right, well, you know what's next. Huh. Hmm. It's very weird. I can't even get in there. It's like we're going in with locking pliers. Doesn't look too bad. I am gonna hit it with this little brass brush just to kind of clean some of that crap off. All right, let's get a little bit of, a little bit of fuel down there. All right, fire in the hole. So we know it's a good engine. Let's get that carburetor off there and we will get that thing torn apart and see what kind of, uh, see what kind of a mess is in there. I'm always, I'm always a little bit skeptical when I see an empty gas tank 
and you know it could just mean that they let it run out but a, a little bit of remnants of fuel remains in the carburetor so depending on how long it sit and if you know if they didn't drain the carburetor after they let it run out of fuel who knows could be a multitude of different things but let's tear into that and we will see what that shows us but it sounded fine so i decided we'll, we'll lift this thing up on the we'll lift this thing up on the bench just to have a little bit more access to it There's a gasket on there that does not look very good. I don't know if it's gonna show up with this poor lighting, but you just gotta trust me on it. All right, there's a zip tie on there that somebody put as the fuel line clamp, which I would be surprised if that was factory. But let's clip that off. All right, got that guy off. Let's get that fuel line off of there. It's nothing in the tank, so I'm suspecting that nothing is going to come out of it. Hopefully. Here, I'm going to get you guys set up. There's a fuel line right here. I'm trying to, trying to get that popped off. And it's not really, not really budging. Let's see if we can get a screwdriver behind there. Sometimes it helps just to just to get it cracked loose a little bit and then it starts to move. like an orange goo. It's just me or that looks to be like melted. Either way it's broken so we're, or it's busted apart so we're gonna have to figure out something if it's gonna go back on there or or what. All right I got that mower down off of the bench. And there's just, it's weird. There's just like weird, goofy, like gooey fuel just dribbling out of this. <laughs> smells like two cycle. All right, I'm going to remove the rest of this gasket as best as I can. This is this is cool. I've never. Oh, seems like that fuel wants to drain out of there. So I'm going to crack that. Uh, there's a there's a drain bolt on there. I'm going to crack that open. We'll see what. We'll see what kind of uh, see what kind of stuff comes out of there. I got this cup. It's relatively clean. There might be a few particles, very very minor mini particles in there. But um, let's see what that looks like. If there's any that comes out, I'm gonna guess like a like a dark yellow. Yep, dark yellow. A very, very small, small amount of water. I'll see if I can pick it up on camera. Okay, so it's gonna be at the bottom. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, that might be a little bit better. So it's at the bottom. It's that little, it's not really moving. It's that little dark speck right there. Oh, there we go. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, but there's just a very tiny drop amount of water. Yeah, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. I, I am not sure, I will, we'll figure it out. I'm assuming this, uh, this is all on here by this, by this bar. It doesn't seem like it wants to move. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that is so cool. I don't see any jets. Never seen this kind of a float before either. This is, I love this, this is so cool. 
So the float works in the opposite direction like a normal float works. Normally a float bowl holds the um, float bowl holds the, the, the float and then there's a needle and seat attached to it so when it goes down it pulls the needle down fills the float bowl up and it'll push the needle back up into that supply that way it, no more fuel gets in as it uses the fuel pulls it out of the bowl up into the carburetor it'll drain the it'll drain the fuel in the bowl allowing more fuel to come in which allows the float to rise and then repeat the process this is different this this fuel supply comes in here and like right now the float is down and it'll fill that bowl up. So it's the same orientation. The bowl is still down when it's empty and up when it's, it's high. Instead of just hanging on the, uh, uh, on the top of the carburetor, it's actually in the bowl. And it's attached to that needle and seat, which are, instead of coming, the fuel is coming down into the bowl, it's actually coming in and filling this bowl up. That's cool. I've never seen that if, if a lot of you are saying, oh yeah, that's normal, what the heck, where have you been? I will admit that yes, I have I have not left the house in a while. I'm just gonna try to figure out how to get this needle and seat out of there. All right, I don't have any carb spray, but I do have the air compressor popped on. Please forgive the, um, the hiss, my air compressor is yelling at me. So I'm just gonna start kind of blowing out parts and there's a gasket on there that looks pretty good. I'm gonna do my best to leave that alone. Um, I think, yeah, that gets removed. I think, I, I wanna say the only ports on here other than these ones coming up, there's there's one. Uh, there's none on that side. There's one on this side. Okay, so I got all that blown out. I'm gonna start to reassemble this. I'm doing this all without any cleaner or a, um, I don't even have any paper towel out here. I just have this dirty rag. So don't try this at home. I do want to drain out, just kind of flush out some of that, some of that gas that was in there. So I am going to do so. I have this rag set down. It's really hard for me to, um, it's really hard for me to set like a, like a container down in there. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. It is dribbling out that side. Please don't try this at home. I'm just going to try to force some air in there. All right, whatever. It, it, there was some that came out, as you can see. So I'm okay with that. I am good with that. A little bit of gas gets sucked up in the carburetor. No big deal. guys there's still hope I promise I can feel it I have it I just got to go on and I, I got to go online and figure out what those uh, what those gaskets um, what the situations like if they're readily available if they're not if it's gonna be a pain in the butt that gasket that was sitting up against that primer bulb did not look good at all. And I'm not, personally, I know we need them in small engine equipment and stuff. I don't really like the whole priming system. 
if there's any slight imperfections, it throws the whole thing off, at least from what I've worked out. Maybe I'm just really bad at it, but all those little ports, if there's not a perfect seal on there, when you go to prime it, it's just air passes around it. And you know, obviously, I mean, it's a good engine. Tried a different spark plug, we're kind of running through. So I'm gonna, um, I have to end this video tonight. Uh, I have a couple of things that I have to go do, but I'm gonna look at the gasket situation when we get those ordered and then pop it back on when we have a um, when we have a better strategy to attack this. I'm, I might take that back. I mean, those gaskets were, they were bad. You saw them. I'm not really a huge fan of saving gaskets. Uh, they're pretty cheap, so a few bucks. So I'm gonna take a look at that and then we will um, we will reconvene at another time. All right, guys, a couple days later and $11 shipping included later. This is the gasket that was ripped in half and I was trying to, you know, and then this is the gasket that went up against the fuel primer bulb. So I am going to get the mower back up on the bench. We're going to put these on. We're going to see what that does for us. Hopefully it solves the problem. You know, again, only 11 bucks and I feel it was worth, worth the risk. So let's tear into it. I got a good feeling about this. I've been thinking about it for a couple days and I have a good feeling. All right. All right, let's take a look at these. We'll do this one first. So it looks like there's a there's a bend in it, which is fine. Oh yuck. Okay. Yep, appears to be the appears to be the right part there. there we won't get ahead of ourselves. And then there is this guy. Fairly similar. Yeah. All right, we'll go with it. There is some remaining gasket material on there. I'm going to take a straight edge blade, and I'll get that uh, I'll get that cleaned off of there before we move any further. I'm going to get off what I can first with this uh, plastic gasket remover. These usually don't work as well, but they're safer. Yeah, that's just not really budging. If you do use a sharp edge like this, you just want to make sure you don't gouge anything. Just, just be gentle, be patient. All right, all this is pretty boring, so I'll fast forward through this and then uh, I'll cut you guys back on when we got this cleaned up a little bit. All right, so I gotta think as much as I can off. So now at this point, let's um, let's mount this guy back on there. It's gonna have to bend a little bit. All right, so I will leave that there. It seems to key in just fine. I'll get this other one opened up. So the adhesive goes on right there, just like that. So, so I'm gonna take that adhesive off and then I will very carefully slide that down. All right, let's get this air box back on and then we're ready to fire this guy up. See what happens. All right, let's go. All right, so it's on off the bench. Let's give it a few. Let's give it a few primes. Full throttle. All right. I just want to check to make sure we, maybe we lost spark. I just want to rule that out. Oh, says we still have spark. Interesting. 
one thing that I was afraid of. Sometimes these primer bulbs can be finicky if you don't have that, um, if you don't have enough pressure on it to create a seal, if you don't have, or if you have too much pressure. So I'm going to start by, hmm, let's see. I'm gonna do a half a turn out, quarter turn. I'm gonna do a quarter turn out on each side first. Let's see if that does it. Hmm. So let's let's replace that quarter turn. And then let's do two more quarter turns, so a half a turn. So maybe we got a seal at that point. I don't know if that did anything, but let's see. So I don't hear any fuel priming. Okay, so it is yet again a few days later. Hopefully this is the last episode of this whole mess. I really like this mower. That's why I'm spending so much time on it. It's one of the older Tecumseh errands. It's solid, it just feels awesome. I love the caster wheels. I just like it. Okay. One thing, this is the one that was on it. This is a new car. I'm not gonna put that one on yet because I want to figure this out the right way. What I mean is, this is a clone. It was like, I think it was like 15 bucks. It came with this big uh, like brass gasket and then these two. I was looking for that part right there, that little O-ring, and this whole thing was so cheap. I figured, you know, we'll just get it just in case, but I just wanna use that part. I will say this. Personally, I am not a huge carburetor clone fan. It just, I don't know why. I know a lot of people like it. I know a lot of people have success with it. I am actually the person where I have never even really entertained the idea. So it's not like I've had bad experiences. I've had no experiences. Just OEM feels right. That's just my opinion. I know, again, a lot of people have carb clones in their repertoire that they love and that they're super cheap. I'd be curious to know too, throw a comment down there, are you a clone or an OEM person? I am this side, it's not a right or wrong, it's just different and that's, I just like OEM. But anyways, so here's what we'll do. I don't want to damage that O-ring so I think this just pops, yeah. So I'm just going to pop this out in for that red one and uh, I just want to compare the two really quick. Yep, they appear to be correct. Okay, I'm going to get that brass one put in there. We'll fire it back up. If it doesn't work, we have a clone, just in case. I don't want to just go straight there. I, I want to, um, for entertainment purposes, I want to narrow in on if that was the issue or not. I have a feeling, and that's what this channel is about, just to get to, to the root problem and troubleshoot because uh, it I mean it would, for all this stuff it would be so easy to just order clone carb clone carb clone carb clone carb that's assuming it all has um, you know carburetor or fuel fuel issues but that's no fun this is a little bit more fun it kind of gives you a better idea of how things work and what can fail and what usually doesn't fail and so on and so forth I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna get that on there we'll get it back on and then hopefully 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 this is the last thing we have to do. And if not, hopefully that thing's, that, that's the last thing we have to do. So sit tight. Ah, come on. I've come to the conclusion there must be some kind of a um, 
you know, a surface imperfection or a gouge that I can't see with the naked eye that is causing air to get in and not have that. Um, that's the only thing I can conclude right now. So I'm going to take back the parts that I robbed from it, that main jet that goes up, and then I'll take that, uh, whatever that thing is called, a back out, put it in the clone, put it on, and we'll wrap this one up. Hopefully that is what's going to get it to run. If not, I give up. Straight give up. Here we go. Take 477. I actually, I hear, this is the first time that I have ever heard anything go, all right, I am very hopeful. Here we go, let's go. Yeah. Not that it's anything that I did, because it's all the clone. Oh. Okay, so it wasn't a gasket, even though we got new ones, that's okay. It wasn't the main jet, it was nothing. It was just the carb. I'm gonna go ahead and assume there were just imperfections along the surface that prevented it from running. Maybe it was warped, can't tell. The reason why I cut it off so quickly is because that is closed. So I will, uh, I'll open that up, get this fired up, kind of listen to how it sounds, maybe go out cut a little grass with it, and, uh, and then do the outro. All right, we're gonna wrap this one up here after a lot of pain. I'm glad I ordered the carburetor because if I was only able to order the little O-ring, that's all I would have ordered. And I would not, that was not the problem. So after I started it up, I ran a little bit of Marble Mystery Oil in the crankcase and then um, I did dump a little sea foam into the gas tank. Uh, I let that run for probably about 10 minutes just to loosen up any crap that was in there. That Marvel Mystery Oil stuff is crazy if you haven't used it. Um, you can add it to the gas. What am I doing? They're not a paid sponsor. Um, so anyways, after the oil heated up, uh, I changed it. I sharpened the blade. I got fresh oil in there. I did add some Lucas Oil oil stabilizer. It's just this plethora of fuel additives going in this thing. I'm not gonna show cleaning it on camera. I'm, I'm very over this video. Uh, not that I'm not having fun, I am. I just don't wanna add, it's probably gonna be long. Yeah, <laughs> that's what she said. So anyways, I'm gonna cut it here. I'm gonna send this video up to edit and uh, move on. So thanks for hanging guys. Really appreciate you joining. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe. Any way you wanna interact with me, go ahead. I, I, I at least try to have a, an account with each social media platform. So whatever you're on, just uh, holler, hit me up. It's the same handle on all, uh, on all this stuff. So thanks for bearing with me on this one. Really appreciate it. All right, later guys.